Shawty, aka 21 Selvish, 21, 21, 21, 21. aka Diaco Poppy, aka Swipe My Card Again, There's Money on My Card, I'm Good, Don't Make Me Embarrass Me and You, aka Alan Flyerson, aka I Just Fucked Your Bitch in Some Polo Flip Flops, hey. aka, <laughs> aka The POV Guy, <laughs> aka uh, I Spin Your Mouth Because I Love You. Mm. AKA Young Reppy, AKA Frankie Slimin, ooh, wah, ooh, wah, AKA oh, the I'm Bottega Boy. Do the whole do I? Sorry. AKA the Bottega Boy. Hey man, I'm your co host, man, Javon Westmuller, man, AKA the Kid. And I am Gigi Lewis, AKA Trinidad Gigi. And, and we have a special guest. I'm Love, AKA. Love. Yeah. <laughs> no respect on your Is name? it L-O-V-E or L-U-V? L-O-V-E. Ooh, all the vowels. We're not going to do none of the the titles? I mean, I don't even have no mic. So you want me to put all, all of my gonna... titles? Oh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, so like the production gonna, ain't up to the part? Our this production is casual. Okay. Yeah. You know, I be getting booked, booked. So I could, I wanted at least to be heard. I could that, put, I could put a mic. It's alright. We just gonna be casual. We just AKA love today. She just shit on the podcast. I ain't I shit really, on the podcast. In the first three minutes. I, but on the highest of keys, the Monica be me, low key. So I thought y'all would have fluff my pillows, fluff. You know, we got you a water. water and a, a silver ah, cup, or ah, you know. Ah, Moscow Mule Copper. I mean, it is I a mean, bottle. It's a bottle of water. It's it can be glass boss. Not the plastic boss. The glass. The glass do hit different. It, it is a glass so boss. Hit oh, no, it ain't nice spring. Oh, no, it is. This is at least spring water. I mean, spring water tastes like spit. Okay. Well, show me another podcast you that's popping on the street where you get bottled waters. Anyway. How was everybody's week? Javon, anything special happened for you today or this week? Um, nope, just started the image movie theater, open mic, that was it. Hey, you downplayed it so low. Gonna have to speak up a little bit. You this gonna have to speak up. We don't have. You have to bass in your voice. Girl, you better shut up talking to me. <laughs> uh, then nothing not happened for real. We started the mic Yes. at MX Movie Theater. You need me to hype it up more, Gigi? Yes, what happened? I told jokes and they was funny, that's it. That's all yeah. I had. Lots you, of funny people there. Lots of funny people. We had people from Atlanta there. Uh -huh. Yeah, we had our town comics. Yeah. We did. They they flew in. Yeah. Did you go up, Gigi? I did not. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, and I don't really know why. It wasn't a rhyme or reason. It's cool. It's passing, man. It's over. Never I mean, I got home. 36 more times. We to can't do get it. that Monday back. It'll never come back. Tomorrow's Monday is back. I said so it is back. So anybody can come back. You can always get them back. You can come to the MX Theater um, Movie and Bar on Mondays. Every Monday, this entire summer, Wait a spring minute. and fall. Wait a minute. You one of those people? What? Ice Mountain don't sponsor us? I feel like you would do that anyway. I do. I do as anybody. I take your all, all labels off. What's the. What do you do? And I'm then you leave them under the couch. Uh uh. And I piss off people. Mm, I'm my kid coach. Gigi, that was it for the week. You ain't hit no mailboxes. I, or nothing. I was talking. Nah, you stopped me to, oh, to, yeah, I had to, to see his OCDness yeah. of taking labels off everything he encounters. Word. Like That's how baby. life should be. Life should have no labels. But anywho, you can come every Monday to the MX Theater uh, this summer, spring, and fall uh, for our open mic happy hour sessions. We all know what's going to happen after the fall. Six to nine. 
Yeah. No, fall it starts in what September. So I don't know what's gonna happen after fall. You said summer, spring, and fall. Right, because it's all the way to like Halloween. Spring, summer, fall. I'm yeah. saying we don't know what's gonna happen after that though. Maybe oh, okay. So. I know. Greatness. Right. So yeah, you can come down there for that. So I, yeah, I did that Monday, and then yeah. So after our of my Monday, I had an incident, and I fainted. You gotta speak up because of. I had an incident and I fainted, and because uh, you forgot the computer. So I forgot to up. eat that day. So uh, you know what? I'm done. It's cool. I'm good. You fainted? Are you okay? No, I'm all right. Yeah. You look you look normal again. Oh, thank you. I see the little yeah. divot in your lip, but other than that. Yeah. Because it was all bad that first day. That picture that I got it first. It was all bad. It was bad. It was very bad. And I'm like, damn, somebody teed off of him. You know? Like, you was fighting Javante Davis. You could have made a good story up. Like, dudes would make a good story up. I just kind of tell people to I got into uh, a fight. Like an actual paid fight. Oh, okay. A paid fight? Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say, because we were a little too wrong to be out here fighting, fighting. No, uh, yeah, that's what I told my daughter. People she thought us. I was fighting. Did you fight fighting? People older than us fighting on her? Yes. Stop playing. No, Fish fighting? Like, for real. Yes. Yes. Nah, I take like a verbal altercation. No, there ain't no they, way. They're fighting. Look, still. You out here fighting? In their upper 40s. I can't yeah, are you, are you imagine fighting? it. Uh, so are you fighting? Oh, uh, will I or am ha, I? Ha, okay, let's ask this. When's the last time you got in a fist fight? Like a physical? Like square it up after school, meet me at the bus oh. stop fist fight. I don't know because <laughs> when you grow, it's like a spur in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening in the moment. You don't really plan to meet somebody in the parking lot of Walmart at 5 p.m. Yeah, like you just, just you know, grab I, I, I guess they don't do that no more. No, it's yeah. not, so it wouldn't be like that because you know we plan the fights back in the day yeah, yeah, all yeah, day yeah. long. Yeah. You know, oh, we had agents. Yeah, you check your calendar. Yeah. You so did have an agent. You're like, a yeah. little friend or running. The person like, got to go back and yeah, forth yeah. and be an instigator low key, but that's the agent. Or they'd be like, hit me, hit me. Yeah, yeah. and then and they, they walk me. over and then, and, then, and then you hit them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to get so, it started. But hey, the right. last time I had an unexpected melee at Walgreens, <laughs> <laughs> it was probably like six years ago. Okay. Not a melee at Walgreens. <laughs> hey, hey. When you don't plan them, it's a melee. It's a melee. You right about that. When it ain't planned, it's definitely a melee. They knocking over the Just For TV. Man, the Mike and Ice was everywhere. They were. It because was. don't do it. It's always the employee for me. Okay. You know, I don't know. You, you know. It was an employee? It was. So is this on World Star? It is not. I hope not. Sure. I about to say. <laughs> I never looked. I didn't. It was in a real Caucasian neighborhood, so I don't know. If it made it to world. Oh, you did the one by Clayton. I was I was living in North Carolina. Oh. Yeah, I was in North Carolina and um out that uptown area walk CBS actually it wasn't wild. Yeah, no, it ain't the red thing still flashing. Okay, okay. cool. Yeah, that's yeah. wild. The lady just was too disrespectful and my week was too fucked up. It was a lot that's of That's a bad combination up. right there. So I grabbed her six years ago. Was Mercury wearing retros? I don't know. 93s. I was to say, was uh, retro, retros. Man. Gigi, what's the last time you got to fight? Elementary school. Okay. Did you win? I don't remember. It was against a boy. I just remember that. Mm. Mm. Okay. Fine. I don't remember. I don't fight. You don't fight. Last fight I had was uh, 97. Against Cortez. Are we talking about paid fights? It's Cortez Murray. No, ma'am, not paid fights. Ain't nobody, no professionals in here. I'm not a professional fighter. I actually. Ma'am, you actually put your hand down. Okay. You are not a professional fighter, ma'am. Oh, okay. Cortez Murray had uh, shit on himself on the bus. Oh, Lord. After he got punched in the face by, uh, I think it was Gene Hams. Like, he punched him in the face. Um, Cortez shit on himself. We were freshmen. I drove him about it. And um, he was like, all right, let's fight. We went down to Leroy's house. And it was me, Leroy, Cortez, and Dwayne. And I'm like, yeah, man, now what's up? And you talking all that stuff. And then he punched me in the face, which kind of shocked me a little bit. And uh, we start scuffling. And I guess he, got, he was kind of getting the best of me because my old best friend Dwayne jumped in. 
kind of grabbed him, slung him to the ground like a homie should. Goodness. And then, you know, I pr proceeded to ground him down. Like and I been the fight. We just were that way growing yeah. up. Um, you know, I felt like I might have been. Like, I was oh, taking okay. licks. Well, I wasn't, bad. like, getting knocked out or nothing. But and Javon, you don't be fighting, but you used to be at all the fights. Yeah, I don't do all that fight. But you just be there. I was just there. Okay. But nobody let me fight. This is accurate. Yeah, mm. people wouldn't let me fight. Why is people, that? People still don't let me fight. Because it's about the facial inflictions that you I have no clue why people <laughs> always want to jump into my altercations. I have no clue. But I'm very, uh, I'm, I'm always ready to go. Well, for one, we play Power Rangers in your backyard, so you definitely <laughs> gotta protect that dude. Hey, man, I stay ready, man. Yeah. I stay ready. So, oh, so did y'all grow up So, I was gonna say, so like, love. What's some background yeah. story? What, what, so, what, what was going on? So, yeah, love is an authentic 6818 hey. um, alumni, so to speak. She grew up um, on Noel Avenue with, or not, she didn't grow up on Noel Avenue. She was at the bottom of the street, like on this other cross street. And, uh, yeah, so. We go back like 30 some years too. Yep. So, yeah, yeah, damn, that mean, don't say that many. Just say, just say we old. go back. Yeah. Go back. You start talking about numbers and shit. I mean, shit. you put a number to it, 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 it authenticates it. I, I don't know. It makes me feel old. Man. It validates my arthritis on <laughs> cold days. So your you knees know. gonna be hurting after you uncross Man. your legs. You gotta just sit there like I'm that. faking it because I hate it. <laughs> Listen, I'm hurting now. I'm it's gonna take now. a few minutes to get up, but we ain't talking. That ain't the topic today. That man. is. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of topics, uh, I had something crazy happen this morning. Um, so, there's this chick who I used to try to holler at. I was trying to holler at her for a while. I tapped out. I didn't care to holler at her no more. She mm -hmm. was flaky and. Um, just really wasn't showing me like the attention that I felt like What's she should name? be. Damn, that's what we doing? That's what we doing? I didn't know who we talking about. We just calling names out on the uh, podcast. Well, she ain't talking? signed no paperwork to be called I out. very specifically did not say her name for a very, very specific reason that you about to learn about here in a second. Oh, okay. Oh, here <laughs> so, we go. so, um, yeah, nothing happened. I didn't feel like she was into me. Um, there was no romantic chemistry at all. We never uh, canoodled. Yeah, is that the word? I, I, I yeah, never used it. Who friends on who first? No, I, no, I keep let him work through this. Let him work through this story. I want to hear it. Let him no. work. We never did none of that. Um, what is that the gesture? <laughs> Has I mean, what, what's, is that should be a letter? No. I, don't, I don't know. Uh, no, to be fine. I'm just I'm just trying to give them a visual. You know, cue as I never did this. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Oh, and, so, and so, I mean, that's, that's important for this story. Oh, no, <laughs> we just, that's what I'm he never clapped never the cakes. That's what I'm like, we so grown here. Why, he if this is a regular show, why we can't cakes. say what will happen or didn't happen? Because it's got like the nostalgic vibe, the, the 18 thing. The you know, was never three or four of us grew up together. We kind of like so we know kids the again. So, oh, okay. You know. We'll go ahead right, with on, the nostalgia. Um, but that's important that I didn't because, um, yeah, we never closed burn, never did nothing. Uh, because she texted me this morning and said she just came back from a trip and her baby daddy, who she slept with like six months ago, has said that he has HIV. Damn. And, um, that she needs to get tested. Why did she tell you that? Just Especially if she ain't give you no cake. Because she feels, like, she feels like what? her life, she says specifically like her life is over. And I guess she thinks that's a death sentence now. Oh, I give mean, my number. She don't know. watch TV. No, right. They cured that child. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But They don't watch TV. It's a whole thing. They got pills. I, yeah, I, that's what I told I didn't tell her that. But it's like, ah, oh, your life ain't over. She you can know, still get the okay. raw. She can still get the raw. She could. She could get the raw. You would? I, know I mean, I don't know about wood, but she you could. Not, you not what I'm saying. There I is medication that yeah. she can take to prevent like her transmission. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not it go away. But I'm not gonna give like it, it never happened, like a credit score. Yeah, I wouldn't take that risk personally. Like um, some bad credit. But the funny thing is, I, I, in 45 days. This is funny. In 45 days. I'm trying funny, to get funny, part funny may not, I'm trying to hang Funny in may there. not be the the proper word. I'm not a linguist. 
It just you know got morbid. Come on, she told you she had HIV. Yeah, that's that's the show. But, from the uh, dirty big baby daddy. So I mean, so the yeah, so the um, there's a message here. I guess a lesson to be learned. Uh, I feel like the universe was a condom for me. Come on, you know universe what I'm be a condom. Yeah, yeah, because how many bitches be hoping universe be a condom? That's risky. But go ahead. That's the worst way to be out here having yeah. sex, dog. Oh my god. What? what you that's like, condoms? I agree. No, it's so want the universe to be a condom. <laughs> yeah. That, that, listen. I don't know. Well, I, I mean, mean, this kind of proves my theory. What's better, universe or saran wrap? <laughs> That. Which one? Oh, Ram, I ain't never seen. <laughs> I'm for safety sex is the best, but uh, is it the it, best? It, 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 it's not the safest, but it feels the best. I feel like if you know how to work it, the condom don't even exist no more, man. I don't know if that's the man trick or the woman trick, but, <laughs> but I, I understand that if you know what the buttons to push, is the condom there? You don't know what's the that it's like if a bear, the if a what's bear shits in the woods. No. No, no. That's if a tree falls in the uh, water, you know, did it now. If the bird, I mixed up my I mixed up my You did. You did horribly. Oh, very very bad. Very way. badly. What? Very badly you messed it up. Okay, so the universe was a condom. So yeah. what you're trying to say is that the universe be being plan B's and condoms and our life. Exactly. Okay. Like it protected me <laughs> from that. It. Um like I I mean I never came close to to smashing but her flakiness and his overall lack of engagement, I mean, I was protected. I guess so, shit. I mean, you put a new perspective on So if you hit, those. you weren't finna hit with no rub on? I'm baptized. I already told y'all. So what you worried about? You good. <laughs> That's why I didn't get nothing. My African friends say this. They don't use condoms. Because they baptized, right? I, I mean, guess. I mean, Amen. That's all it takes. Ain't nobody using rubbers these days, huh? You, do you know what? Are you you're surprised because you're married? I'm very much surprised <laughs> at all of these. You're surprised. Wow. It. Okay. Wow. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I can't. There are. It, that story did not trigger any situation or scenario for me. But I will say I can see how, you know, universal forces come in, in there. <laughs> And move shit around when mm -hmm. the person just ain't right for you. For yeah. sure. That's what you mean, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I'm yeah, and that's exactly. See, you're the linguist. That's why we got so you. Okay. Okay. So you, you like my um, linguistic translation. Okay, well, let me send him an invoice. Oh, okay. So, yeah, love, you were saying you be on um, different podcasts nicer than this one. Oh, no. So, what is it that No, you she said on? they have mics. She didn't say nicer. She said I did. Mics. Thank you. She Thank said you. They have mics. So now I'm a public speaker. So typically, where everywhere I speak, there's lots of mics. You know, they be clipped to the podium, clipped to your ass. We got lots of mics here. They just not. They just no. The they table. be working mics <laughs> that's <laughs> delivering the feed to a thing that is recording. We got a lot of phones. Yeah, mics. man. So now I'm a public speaker. I work in political advocacy for reproductive justice, and I speak on podiums with the likes of Corey Bush, who is one of my favorite political advocates. And Shar Jones, I do a lot of work with the mayor's office. Um, one of my biggest accomplishments had nothing to do with the microphone. Mm -hmm. I uh, started Board Bill 61, which is $1.5 million funded to uh, aid people in having access to pregnancy support. So, yeah, and other things to come. Let's go. Let's go. But yeah, you know, when Cori Bush invited me to sit on her panel and everything, they didn't give me a mic by myself, but I at least got to share a mic. You, we we sharing the mic right now. You right. Did you sharing. see that mic on top Let of the camera? My we sharing the shotgun. We sharing the mic. But that's dope though. Out here making a difference in the world. That's yeah, one absolutely. of the things I admire the most about you. A lot of people complain about stuff and complain about things that's happening in the world and nobody does anything. Yeah. So uh, it's really dope that you yeah. People be complaining about the work that's getting done. These yeah. people don't be doing nothing and be like, but they you could have did it like it. It was like, but could you have done it though? <laughs> See, right. when you work in this room, it make you learn how to pop your shit. Because people be having fucked up. Like, you spend 100 hours on a project, work with people, you know, and I'm black and nappy headed in this space. So mm -hmm. people 
do shit shady shit to me shun me make slick ass comments i gotta endure that amongst this 180 hours i spent working on this shit to get to the finish so, line. yeah so actually i don't care if it wasn't enough amen i done paid the road for you to come and fix it amen <laughs> i i can't care about what these people think i love it but yeah i will say i had a reroute situation you should have told a better story the story is supposed to My inspire story, us all yeah, that's something. It was supposed to inspire we'll us to think of our own situation. I and all we this. can think about right now is how many fucked up situations could have ended the HIV. That was off. that was that was a close that was my closest uh near miss. It was traumatic, bro. In such a it sense. wasn't close. It, it was traumatic. You don't even know if she waxed or she got her on it, bro. That's not I don't. close. It's, true. it's not close. Then. But I mean, I've never dated somebody who then turned around and is like I could be positive. Yeah. Okay, I got one that might inspire us all. Wait, 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 why does it got to be inspiring? It's just it's we just having true. a conversation and we can't talk about expound on that. Ain't that how podcasts go? What you mean? I, I Somebody scared. talk I and you. everybody chime in on what the person talk about. You did chime in. You, you said I, that. Because I'm time. trying to keep it rolling, bro. It was going to get real. It was going to get real quiet here. Well, Moving on. Edit that part out. I'm not and we don't talk about we don't. my story. Y'all ready? We don't have it. The dude was fine. That's how we're going to open it up. Because that's, that's usually the trick. You that's be good. attracted because they fine. But he was dating this girl I was doing business with. But everybody used to be like, oh my God, I love the way he looks at you. And I'm like, I just want to make eye contact with the nigga. I'm going to just look at the ground, look around. But every time I saw them together, he was real tall. He like six, seven. Mm -hmm. And so every time they would be around, I can't escape his eyes, right? Even if I'm so intently looking at her, in my to, peripheral, I see him. On a scale of 1 to 10, can't use 7, what would you rate him? He was a 9. Okay. Can't use 7? No. <laughs> Why? Because that's a, that's a So that means he was uh, Will Smith, Denzel, um, Denzel Washington. But see, when you name people, they got to be fine to how I like them. No, Who she, would you consider she, a 9? Huh? Who would you consider a 9 that we know? Uh, Good question. See, because we have a good podcast, we ask the good questions. Not anybody, everybody would know. Just give me. Yeah. So y'all know consciously, he's short. If he was taller, he would definitely be a ten. But because he's my height, he's nine. You see, like, can I like Google him and yeah, put him up on the screen? Consciously, it's Googleable. Okay. Put on the screen. Bad. Yeah, but so he's very attractive and he's African. He got a little accent. Y'all know I like a <laughs> lot. I like Africans, Jamaican men. If you out there, I'm still single. You know, I don't know. Anyway, so meet him. He's cool. They break up. She tells me, like, he be seeing you every day. Do you see him? And I was like, no. So I started seeing him on my way, work downtown. Community wellness projects where you need to send your girl. We do HIV prevention. I'm a prevention specialist. I can help you connect to resources if you think you might be positive. Your life is not over. I can definitely help you live your best life. Anyway, so he was seeing me every day in the crosswalk downtown, going to my office, going to my office. And then I was like, okay, he's he looking good. When I finally noticed him, he was wearing suits and shit. I'm like, okay, he could wear a suit. I like that. You know, maybe I'm going to shoot my shot. Because she was like, yeah, we ain't messing around. It wasn't that deep. You know, it was a mistake. So I'm like, it was a mistake for you, honey. So fast forward, I start seeing him in other places. And I'm like, damn, I see this nigga everywhere. Fuck it. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to warm it up. By the time I warmed it up, he had already told several people that he be strategically planning himself to be where I'm at so we could cross paths. So I was like, I thought it was cute at first. I was like, oh, he can do anything to me, where, we, where I be at, oh, he be where I be at to see me. But then it started getting scary. <laughs> so, damn, so I literally was at my best friend's house for the half dinner, kick back, you know, just on a chill night. We finna open our laptops, cook, talk shit, and work. I walk in the house and this nigga is washing the dishes at her crib. So I, I come in and I'm instantly shocked because I've never seen him in my personal spaces like that. Just workspace. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, what the fuck is this nigga doing washing the dishes at my sis crib? You know what I'm saying? So it was a lot of other friends that so I didn't want to make no scene. But come to find out, he was strategically planning to meet with me in places and I really would never pull the trigger on shoot my shot because he used to fuck with somebody I was cool with 
And when I say it's millions of dicks out here, I do not need to prey on nobody my friend or my family has messed with. So it instantly turns me off. The moment I know, like, oh damn, if it wasn't years and years ago, then I'm like, damn, yeah, you you smashed the homie, so I can't even. So was that kind of dope? Like, what did you what did you think of the whole strategically being where you was at? So come to find out, he was like giving stalker energy, big mm -hmm. big time, and he's very. I, I ended up talking to him. I ended up playing it off and getting his number. And so I just went for it. Y'all know I'm bold. I'm like, why the fuck I be seeing you everywhere? Why the fuck I see you at work? Then I walk in my friend's house. It, it was like three years. This doesn't happen over a month. This happened over three years. So I'm thinking he's going to say, you know, I, I think you're beautiful. I'm so intrigued by you. I want to date you. I just didn't know how to do it. That would have made it like, okay, you know, that was cute. But this motherfucker gonna tell me. I hear that all the time. I'm a very mystical being. Legit his response. So then I said, okay, well what the fuck? <clears throat> Do you burn an incense? Do the incense tell you where so I'm finna be? I need to know. He never gave me a straight answer, y'all. Never. So he never answered how he know where you be. No. He just there. No, that's right. How long did this go on? Oh, good question. So once he was in my friend's kitchen, up until like oh like a month ago because i had to expose him in front of everybody and be like hey this nigga a group y'all they like what receipts you know i got them. i got all the receipts on the creep shit so now he too embarrassed to come around i haven't mm -hmm. seen him in a while that don't mean he ain't seeing you though this is true he's too fine to be a stalker though i don't get it them be the ones though. do they Damn, Ted Bundy was a little the ones that people think the ones guy. that people think shouldn't be or be the ones. <laughs> Damn, and it really almost severed one of my friendships because they were trying to catch me up in some type of lie. Like I'm lying on him, and they were. I had such a traumatic breakdown in that moment. She was like, "Oh, I believe you. I'm sorry. I fucked up. I ain't, I was just playing around. You really are bothered by this nigga. I believe you. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't until then that it all came to a head." And I just feel like him dating my friend was the condom. Mm -hmm. That was the condom. Because I wouldn't have talked to him. You know what I'm saying? Period. He had to put himself strategically in my path. Because I was never going to fuck with him after he done fucked with somebody I was cool with doing business with. You know what I'm saying? So that was the condom. Otherwise, we would have needed a condom. I was going to throw it back on. He's so fine. He's so fine. Oh, Lord. Be yeah. careful. They be fine and crazy, y'all. I mean, see, when you say that, it makes me think about how when chicks get into some slutty sex situations and we pray our period come on, amen. Yeah. But this is what you're talking about. I mean, I guess it applies. Yeah. It's, it's a... more, more than not, people force themselves to be a part of fucked up situations even when, you know, say for instance, she flaked you and you were one of those people who sought validation through other people. Then you would just go extra harder and press. A lot of dudes do that. Like if I'm not available a lot, the person is going to... Matter of fact, it's a tactic I use to keep myself on the top of the fucking pole, totem pole and dating. I intentionally be looking at your motherfucking text message and wait an hour to open it to create this air of unavailability. So that it creates some urgency. That is a, it creates a hunting mentality. That is yeah. a hunting mentality. It activates his hunting mentality. It does. Like, oh, I want, I want, I want. That's correct. I get you. I've used that. So, you know. It don't go away though. Like, that's, that's a question. Like, once you even get in a relationship. You can still do that. But women still have a chase. way of creating that You don't let them know not available all the time. You know, that everybody fact. call. Creates that chase. It works really well with men. Women are doing it as well, but... You know, some people just pursue and heavily pursue until they get it based off of the fact that she is flaky. And then all of that disappeared though, because you can only keep up. Because <clears throat> you're only keeping it up for so long. If it's not you, it's not you. Yeah. And if you're not actually working yeah. to change the habits to make it you, then it ain't going to work. So, this is true. Because men have put in enough, I mean, men have put in years to get what they, men have put in years to get that one hit. That make no sense. And waste your motherfucking <laughs> time. They will waste. I mean, hey, but I want the, once once the smell is like once the blood is in the nostrils, once the blood has hit the water. Okay. <laughs> you know some shark stuff. Men. Right? 
That's how they act though. Hey, men are white. Men are white. Men are waited out. If if a man want to hit, it's crazy. If a man want to hit, he'll wait. A man waited three and a half years. I ain't talking. I'm, I'm talking about like I'm talking about fifteen. That's yeah. crazy. Fifteen. They let you go through a marriage and come out and be yeah. like, girl, I've been waiting on just the clap cheeks and waste time. Kind of shape. Just the, it don't matter. It, it, it that don't matter once it's in my head or what. Once it's in the head it of I want to clap, like. yeah. Once they want to clap, they don't care about you changing. None of that stuff. It's, the it's just slimy. it was in the head. Mm. What you say? Is what sticky or slimy? What? Like you still trying to think? Fifteen years later, is it sticky or slimy? <laughs> I, they, 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 they doing something. They definitely doing something. Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. So, um, is she fine or she thick? The person you waited 15 years for. Okay. I'm asking. Wait 15 years. I ain't wait 15 years for nobody. <laughs> what? <laughs> Would you though? Nah. Why not, Jan? Because I got better things to do. What What you got to do? Other people. Okay. Period. Because the magnet is cracking. I mean. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Yeah. I mean, by 15 years, they're, they're just a shell of the former selves. They want to, they're not as bad as they used to be, most likely, in my experience. So I'm not about to wait 15 years. They've been hurt and traumatized. And like, it's just not. That don't make no sense. You know what? But that's a real thing. Because before a certain age, it was by default I'm, I'm getting attention or numbers or the type of men that I want. Mm -hmm. Once I was more seasoned in life, those men still came, but I noticed that the influx, like the amount of people was fewer. Yeah. You know, and I thought about it. I'm like, oh, okay, because people think, oh, now you are older. This this how old you are. You have to have gone through all these different levels of trauma. Mm -hmm. I even had a guy say that, like, you know what? I thought you would be a little more traumatized. Mm -hmm. I was like, what the fuck? Does that I thought mean? you'd be a little bit more. But that shouldn't be a gauge. Like, if you see a woman, and dudes do this all the time. I'm not you saying see a woman, right now. I'm just talking about 15 years ago, people. I'm just saying, okay, saying you knew them for yeah. 15 years, yeah, yeah, yeah. but that doesn't still apply to people that you just met. It does. I just don't know about it. Yeah. I didn't wait them out. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's my thing. It's just, I, it's about the way would I wait somebody out for 15 years. I'm seeing the things happen. I know what's making you tick. I know the stuff that's happened. I don't really want any pieces of that. Okay, that's fine. Now, if I'm mean, if you're a person I just met, you can still have those same things happen. I just didn't have to witness like it's kind of like I'm not witnessing a chicken get butchered before I eat it. Like I'm not watching that whole process. I get it, I know what's happened, but it still tastes good. I don't eat chicken. Mm, but nevertheless. The tofu. You just wanted out the air fryer. You don't want to know nothing about what happened to that I don't chicken. know. I don't before, know what's before, before the air fryer. I don't want to know how many bodies you got. Nothing. You just want to know. Nothing. You don't care? I can't believe you. You don't ask about bodies? I can't believe we're still asking that. Absolutely not. We don't ask about body count? We just no, no. We need to stop. We need to stop asking. Hey, y'all know why I got to ask these questions. Because I ain't got no bodies. I got <laughs> one body. So I got to keep asking. <laughs> I ain't got no bodies. So, yeah, like, so the body count question is still a question? It's no. still a question. Yes, it is, Jaren. Oh, people oh, I'm talking still about some ask. Okay, oh, so okay. people ask you? No, nah, they ain't ask me. I'm but does it become uncomfortable to ask? They though? assume I'm throwing it. Ain't it, like, uncomfortable to ask? Like, if I ask you, hey, what's your body count? You actually it tell is. me. Don't I get uncomfortable? Well, that's that's another question I don't like either. Am, well, I your, am I your best? Was I the best? Mm -hmm. that you, I, 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 that's that's insecurity. Yeah, that's it that is. That question you get asked. Like that's a that's a. But that's what they ask. Oh wait a minute. Let's yeah. go back. People like to know if they was the best. Let's go back to the body count thing. So you talking about so for somebody who I'm trying to talk to? Oh, you the best. Or somebody just trying to talk to me? Give and, me your all. And that can still be false though. And they ask me my body count, or I'm asking, am I, do I want to know their body count? Yeah. Do you want to know? No, because a I think they're gonna lie. No matter. Oh, we're definitely is. gonna lie. And then, <laughs> and and it still could be traumatizing. To hear, the, to hear the, the fake number and know that I got to multiply the number by three. I guess. That's wild. No, you got to multiply that bitch by 30. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> you heard me? She going to say five. 
Multiply by five. Everybody say, yeah, it don't, like, I ain't never on. heard it get over five. Yeah. I ain't never heard it get over That's five. That's the number. You ain't never heard it over five. Not in these stories at all. I ain't never heard a woman go over five. She can be 50. Body count ain't going over five. Wow. She's she been a respectable lady her whole life. Like, That's crazy. Yeah. Well, I've never asked any women, but I've had the conversation with other guys. I mean, guys, not recently. That's because we're expected to do it. So yeah, we're gonna be way more open. Yeah, I'm like at twenty. I, I, actually, I think we lie. The, the numbers always. Like, like, we lie. The, we lie the other way. You've had more bodies. bodies. I've been with like forty women, but you so can't please the, nobody. What's, what's, what's to have a number? I guess that's up to like in your head, like what you make it. Yeah, up what's to what in your head? What's too high? If you in double. Ooh, if you double double digits. Double, if you in double, we forty years old. Well, you you feel like what's the number? Give you number. Give a number. You just give a number. 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 Give a Alarming, <laughs> you know, a little hard to take in. So I the double like digits. Wrong time to ask. I think that's when you fucked all the bodies. I think, I think before it's, you was in your twenties and it's wrong. I think it's always wrong to ask. But to speak to what Javon just said, when you start talking about double digits, like we forty, like of course it's gonna be a it's, double of course, digits. Like double digits ain't hard to achieve. No. Um, with that being said. What number's too high for me? I don't want to hear any number. If I'm like taking a person serious, um, yeah. I never want to hear their body count because once I hear it, that person's out of contention for me. So you gonna be in love with a low key hoe? Low I'm okay key. With that. You wanted to be on high key. I don't want to hear about it because all I want to think about is just me. I don't want to hear that she's been with thirty people, even though we're forty years old and thirty ain't crazy. So, so if she was with six people at one time. You good with that? I mean, that's what I would want to know. I'm sorry, now how many strains have you had on your pussy now? That's what I want to know. How many, how many times have you, you know, and let the homeboy and his homeboy? That's a, that's a little more of a valid question. Then bodies, because listen, yeah. how I look at it is this. Because you can let's collect say, a lot of bodies in one. You can. Home. Let's yeah. say you, you 15, you just lost your virginity. For some people, that's midway through. Other yeah. people lose yeah. their virginity at 13 yeah. and shit. So I you lose your virginity. 18. I lost mine at 17. Yeah. But let's just say, 16. right? You lose it at 16. Alright, mm -hmm. that'll be the average for us. Mm -hmm. So then, you poke a couple cuties. It might not have been all the way sex, right? You did about three. You nice. know what I'm saying? Then you get a little more experience. You do about three more. Mm -hmm. Alright, you it's what you 16, you 19 now. Now the Mac is cracking, you out of school, you in college, you think you're the man, you yeah. got your posse, you done fucked about 15 bitches between now and grad school. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you only 25. Yeah. You're not even 30 yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers, I just fucked on a humbug in college alone, yeah. just in college. So I feel like you're gonna easily in your forties if you've lived any, you're gonna be easily in the double digits. Cause how between high, thirty high, and forty, you might only have four motherfuckers. How high? But, how high in double digits? So there's, the, I don't know because I don't know what the talk. average is. I have to sit down and have I wouldn't want to hear it, but if but I, I know, I, wanna, I think I want to have this talk. I have a friend. Oh, shit. I have a friend who is easily has to be triple digits. Triple like a not like deep triple digits, but yeah, like, come on. Nigga, to be that period is a lot. Huh? To be that period is a lot. Triple digits, bro. Yeah. You ain't gotta be deep. Just the fact that you had a hundred. Yeah, is she a sex it. work? That's a lot of work. She isn't. I think she, she has, is. I think she by has default. A, she I think is. she has an unhealthy period. relationship with sex. sex. She she has put a lot of hours at the ten thousand <laughs> hours you have mastered. You have mastered whatever the craft <laughs> is you were trying to get but, into. But, if I mean, I, but how hard is it to get to a hundred in this new it's not hard, swinger bro. lifestyle? It's, it's you know, like I'm you so said, sure. in one session you could rack up a good six. So I'm so glad I'm not in this. But you know how people wow, be this dropping in couples and they, they do, do swinging stuff they like this. I'm not talking that about that that is becoming more of a you, thing though. Yeah, that's what I'm like. So how hard is it to get it's to triple digits? In in twenty twenty three, yeah, you can easy on a, in a good month. If you do stuff twice a month, yeah. in a good month, you can rack up about 10, 15, and then what? You now say that's your thing for the year. You that's what I'm saying. Like, so how hard is it 
you done got a hundred on you, that's your thing. The, a, a certain lifestyle, like you said, may have an unhealthy relationship with sex. Mm -hmm. Like, how hard is it for a person to reach in the triple digits? Tell us, how hard is it? These days, I don't know, I just... Yeah, okay, are we, you the, tell us are we defending the triple dig? You, just you, you feel you might have hit the triple dig? No, it's kind of okay. I'm just saying. I feel like okay. people don't be counting <laughs> the stress <laughs> sex scenario. Stress sex? Yeah, when you out, when you go out to somewhere and you having a great time and maybe you meet somebody mm. and y'all have a one night stand, maybe they'll see each other again. People act like those don't count. That count count that body. That oh, really how can you not count a body? I mean, they don't though. I, I just don't see anybody our age having less than twenty. I wasn't the one night. Unless I, they was married. I've been saying because I've been because we've been together like for twenty years though. Yeah. So, so okay, like since I we was twenty it. and we so I get it. But I know we had life before that. This is true. So now I got now I want to know. Uh, babe, you better not be in triple digits. Uh, oh my god. And baby, ain't no way you in double digits, baby. It oh better not be god. no matter, matter of fact. I ain't gonna even ask. Cause, well, no, because my stepdaughter she had when we was fourteen, when she was fourteen. So I know that's a body, cause we got yeah. we got something from that. So that's yeah. at least one body. I just I don't even want to know. What I don't happens even wanna if know. the motherfuckers stop counting or never counted? Then they take the like estimates. That, that you man, know. I can't just take your guess. You just can't be guessing with me about what yeah, I think you ask me how many bodies I got, and I'll be like, shit, I don't know. I've never counted. I instantly went high in my head. I instantly <laughs> so, so like went high. TV, you know. Yeah, I instantly went high in my head. I didn't. I didn't go low. I, I didn't. When people say that, you don't go low. Like, okay, cool. That's only like three or four. Like, all right, cool. You like, damn, this motherfucker did so many. I can't even remember what type of. But then this, this deal. is also another check, caveat. Please. Check, please. That niggas ain't shit. So even if you intend to I have one body, that. man, I can't believe it. Even that. if you intend to just have that one body. That one body might put you in a position where you end up with body number two. Because either you choose yourself now or you continue to be unsatisfied in this relationship. So because I chose myself, now I got two bodies. And so what if he ain't shit? Now so when do we find out they when do we find out they ain't though? Like when do we when do we find this out? Because everybody come through the gate blazing. For me. And I'm put under the impression that everybody can go out here and find somebody better than what they currently have. So I I it's hard for me to believe and remember again, I'm in a this different is type true. of book. Because okay. everybody believes that I can leave you and go get somebody better. This is also true. So what is the ain't? Because it, 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 it seems like the dating pool is popping. The dating pool is popping, but the monogamy, mm -hmm. consistent, serious relationship pool. Okay, so the pool is popping with everybody having fun with the pool noodles and everything else, but for the people that want to be more serious yes. and take like an indoor. So if you just want to have a good, so if you, so if you just want to have a good time, it's a lot. The that. dating pool is great for a great oh, yes. time, but oh, when yes. you're ready to try to have a real relationship, that's when it starts becoming an it's issue a, in the dating. Pool. Yeah, because there's a huge. It's a lot of variance. Like you got people who want a relationship but don't think they can give what it will require to maintain it. Then you got people. People who don't want a relationship at all. Uh -huh. You've got other people who are already in a relationship, got their ass in the dating pool. You know, so many different variants. But you gotta add in the fact that motherfuckers don't be shit sometimes. And some people can't help that they had to sift through a couple of penises to find the one. <laughs> Not sift <laughs> gotta sift through them all. Gotta get the room. Uh -huh. Gotta catch them all. Uh -huh. Pokemon. I ain't ashamed. I'll be like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know if I count. I don't remember the last time I counted. After I left my ex-husband, I wasn't counting dick. After you left your ex-husband, was you out here, out here? A little bit. Why? Cause I, I, why is that the move when y'all get divorced, bro? Why is that the move? I'm gonna tell you why. I'm <laughs> because sometimes we stay, like I said earlier, in an unhappy situation where we're not getting satisfied and invest in it, hoping it brings a greater But what if deal? he is satisfying you sexually? Or that's what you tell him? Well, it wasn't about sex for me while that. Okay. But I just love to know why when y'all get divorced, y'all be out here heavy on the leash. Because the leash is off, nigga. That's why. How it ain't that we want to do whole shit 13 years. What so, you mean you so don't want to do it? You out here doing it. We, it ain't like it. we've been desiring, like, Ugh, I can't wait to do she, whole shit. She was married for 13 years. I was married for 15. So I got married young. It sounds like you probably did too. And so for me, I didn't have time before. To sow my royal oats, and I, so and so uh, after the fact, it's like, oh, we out here. Like it's time to get that second childhood in. 
Maybe I not. had time before. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I so, just was I partying did. back in the day as a teenager. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you know when I started being like super sexually active and shit, it wasn't but a couple of years before I got married. So I got you. Yeah, but when I left, I was feeling like the leash is off, bitch. What? What we do? What next? What we want to do? What have we ever thought about doing? But why? Because why? we feel like it's like chopping off your hair when your man, when you break up and he love your hair long. It's like the extra slap in the face. So it's a disrespect to him. Problem. That and you now went out here and got leash? active. Yeah. But what if you don't give How do he know though? Cause somebody gonna tell him. So that. yeah, because you gonna yeah. So oh, it get back to you. And it's a look in your eye. You know, Wait, when you go back from to him, the housewife to outside home, it's a glisten. Yeah, it? glisten different. Man, so the I'm moment learning. he see you, he see you like, ah, oh, so you an outside, so you for the streets. I'm learning. You smell that cologne in there. Hey, I'm learning. Hey, I didn't know I yeah, I didn't know. I well, they start noticing you do different shit. Like you ain't never used to do your eyebrows like that. <laughs> You know? Oh, well, that's what happens when you out the fuck side. You start putting them posts up, you looking good and stuff. They just know that, you know, you getting your feel of things. Somebody gonna tell That's deep. That's dope. Who did it? Who that's dope. dope. That's deep and dope. dope. That's deep and dope. That's the worst thing for real. They all be out here clown. All right, yeah. So, uh, I think we should wrap it up. I'm all for it. That's what this podcast is about, wrapping it up, right? So I kind of believe so. The so universe has wrapped it up. Yes. Well, I'm, normally not the pun. I'm normally not the pun guy, but bam, there it there is. There it is. That's the pun. All right, y'all. Uh, um, what we Bo got coming up? Anybody got anything Bo-wee. coming up? Javon, you got some shows? Nope, because I don't know when this is earned. I'm, I got, I, I'm on something. Whenever this airs, I'm Mondays. pretty sure it'll be booked. It's always Mondays, GG. Yeah, yeah, always Mondays. Want to talk about Monday? No, y'all talk about it. Okay. It makes movie theater. Every Monday, Off the Wall Comedy, hosted by your boy. Bubba yeah. Gigi. Bubba Gigi. What? I said Bubba Gigi. I can't hear you. Bubba Gigi. What is that? Like Bubba Gump? Because you got the look. Like uh, I get it now. Okay, will cut it out. You don't gotta cut it out. I'm just saying that could be your nickname. <laughs> it could be. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm being weird. It that's could good. be, though. Anyway, Mondays. Mondays, that's it. And that's that's all we got right now. Whenever this airs, we still doing Monday. Love, tell the people where they can find you. I don't know. What Social media, I guess. You have anything you want to plug? <laughs> when you on there. You good? Nope, I don't, actually. But you know, Google me, Love Holt. I'm outside. <laughs> of course you are. You already thought that you outside. Yeah. Eyebrows done and everything. You out here. I can't go wait to paint them bitches on the night. Go find something to do. Got to paint them on. Right. Well, thank you for coming and joining us. Oh, yeah. No problem. It was definitely a pleasure to hear your insight and verbal boxing yeah. skills. <laughs> yeah, I do that. And this has been another episode of the 6818 Podcast to the millions of viewers watching. The millions and millions. Peace. Peace. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before you go, make sure you click on like, subscribe, and the comment button. Wait, wait. Uh-huh. Uh, well, first of all, there ain't no comment button. Oh. I'm not sure the like button is it over there. I don't know. It's around here. But there's no comment button on YouTube. Oh. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. And also before you go, make sure you watch our other videos here. Wait. And here. Wait. What? What are you, what are you pointing at? Where the, the videos, videos go? The videos ain't that high. You pointing up to like the address bar. Oh. Which hell? Here and here. Where are other videos go? Or here and here. Wherever they pop up, make sure you click and watch. And again, thank y'all for coming on our block. Or our hood. Forget. Whatever it's gonna be, thanks.